Microphone and Guitar Effects. If you want to follow along with this chapter, you'll need to restart your PA5X so we'll both be in the same place from the beginning. And reset the crossfade slider by moving it a bit and setting it to the left. The PA5X has the ability to plug in a microphone and a guitar and add separate effect processing. First, let's look at the vocal effects. The PA5X has a new vocal processor from Shift Audio that provides four high-quality harmony voices and four doubling voices along with a newly designed auto-pitch feature. Plus separate filter, modulation, delay, and reverb effects can all be used simultaneously on your voice. Let's start by connecting a microphone. Make sure the control section is set to main. Use slider 1 to turn the mic volume down completely and make sure switch 1, the microphone on-off, is off. Plug the microphone into the mic input on the back of the PA5X. Either a quarter inch jack or an XLR jack can be used with this type of connector. I'm using a dynamic microphone which doesn't require powering. This is usually the type of mic used in live situations. If you're using a condenser mic that needs phantom power, go to Settings, Audio Video, Audio In tab, and touch here. If you're using a dynamic mic, turn it off. Now let's adjust the input. Press Menu, Mic Setup, EQ Dynamics tab. Reach back and use the gain knob next to the mic input to adjust check, the check, input check, gain. Check, 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 check. Keep the maximum in the yellow range. Check, check, check. On this same page, there's an EQ, a compressor, and a gate to further refine your vocal sound. Press Exit. Turn on the mic and slowly bring up the mic volume using slider 1. Here on the mic guitar page, you can see the current vocal preset, chord, harmony off, and that all of the effects are muted except for delay and reverb. Unmute the doubler. Mute the doubler and unmute the harmonies. Play a chord to establish the chord for the harmonies and sing. Touch the preset and select the one you want. For example, one voice up, meaning just one harmony above the note you sing. You can use switch two in the control section to quickly unmute the harmonies. Remember to trigger a chord first. Two voices down, two harmonies sung below your note. The presets are grouped in categories here on the left. Go to the Note category and select Notes Natural. These presets use the notes you play to trigger the voices. I'll lower the volume of the keyboard set so we can hear the harmony better. La, 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 la. When playing a MIDI song, the harmony notes can be received from a song's track, usually track 5 in many commercial standard MIDI files. This is the preset to use for that purpose. Go to the Effects category and select 1-Up plus Auto Pitch. Press Exit. There's also an Auto Pitch feature that will correct the pitch subtly or in the more drastic robotic way. First, I'll mute Auto Pitch and I'll sing this. When I unmute the Auto Pitch, it sounds like this. To edit a preset, press Menu, Mic Preset, and touch the effect you want to edit. Press Exit. To choose a different effect, for example a different reverb, touch here, then touch the name of the current effect here at the top. Then Exit. Here are all the parameters of the reverb. Press Exit. Then the preset can be saved to a user location with whatever effects you want muted or unmuted. Press Exit twice to return to the mic and guitar page. During a live show, you may want to speak to the audience while a style or song is playing. This function can be assigned to one of the user buttons in the control section. Hold down Shift and press any of the control buttons to get to this page. For example, you could change the last button that's turning the metronome on off. Touch here, scroll over, and there's Mic Talk Over. Then when that button is on, the music volume will be lowered and the mic reverb is muted, allowing you to be heard better. For now, leave it as it is, press exit twice, and mute the microphone. Now let's take a look at the guitar effects. 
Before connecting your guitar, be sure to set the control section to main and use slider 4 to turn the volume of the guitar down completely. And make sure switch 4, the guitar input, is off. After plugging in the guitar into the guitar input on the back of the PA5X, adjust the guitar input in the same way we did with the microphone. Go to Settings, Menu, Guitar Setup. I've already adjusted mine. Press Exit. Press Switch 4 to turn on the guitar and slowly bring up the guitar volume using Slider 4. The current guitar effect preset is Clean AC30SC. You can have a maximum of four effects in the preset. In this chain, there's a compressor, a tape echo, a guitar amp and cabinet modeling effect, and plate reverb. You can mute and unmute each effect by touching them here. To select a different preset, touch here. The presets are grouped in categories on the left and selected in the usual way here on the right. From the modulation category, select Stereo Chorus and press Exit. You can edit or create your own guitar effect preset and save it to the user bank in the same way we did with the vocal effects by pressing Menu, Guitar Preset, etc. Press Exit and mute the guitar input. 